Thanks again for joining me for this video. Today, we're gonna to go over the unit three short paper, which is actually the first draft of your course project. It's a really important assignment. So I'm glad that you're joining me for this short video. Um, I like to think about this assignment as step one in your course project, because in fact, it is that. It is the very first draft that you're going to submit of the first part of your three part final course project. And while I really don't like talking about grades, I feel like I have to in this in this specific instance, because I really want to stress that your course project is a big part of your grade. The nitty gritty of this is that this draft is worth 115 points. You'll do a second draft in unit five. that is also worth 115 points. And then the final version of that course project that you'll turn in during module seven is worth 250 points. All that being said, it is out of a total of 1,000 points for the course. So this is a pretty big one. Let's get started on it here. I'm going to walk through this project kind of step by step together. The first step in getting started on your module three paper assignment is to carefully review the project guidelines. You're going to access this from your uh, learning materials page. The guidelines describe the draft of that first of the three parts of the project that you're going to complete this week. This gives you an introduction to the overall project. It tells you specifically what to submit. It gives you links to some resources, and it shows you the grading rubric. So we're gonna come back to that grading rubric in a few minutes, but for now, we're gonna go on to uh, learning a little bit about how you pick the topic that you're gonna focus in on. So when you click on that scenario profiles link on the guidelines page, you're gonna be taken to a PDF that describes three scenarios that you have to pick from. The first scenario relates to business. Specifically, it's about a mining company that's working to find a sustainable balance in their business. The second of the scenarios focuses on social justice. It's specifically on a community organization that has concerns about how equitable infrastructure repairs that are going on in the community are. And then the third scenario focuses on environmental quality, specifically on the concerns of a college environmental quality club that are related to their indoor conditions in their college. So I really encourage you to read through each one of the scenario profiles. It's about a page long for each one, but take care in picking the particular scenario because you are going to continue with that same scenario in the module five second draft and for your final course project. So what you pick now is kind of what you're stuck with. Make sure you're going through all those, all those scenarios. Okay. Also, you want to note that there is a section at the bottom of each of the scenarios called additional resources, and you will absolutely have to click on that for whichever scenario you choose in order to be able to complete each one of the assignments. Okay. So those are the scenarios that you have to pick from. Now let's look at the actual template. So you are going to download the project template directly from that guidelines page. It's the same template that you're going to use for this draft, as well as for the module five draft. This time you're gonna be completing part one. So please make sure that you're using that project template. On the template, you're gonna to respond to the four questions that are part of uh, part one. Please don't try to write this as a freestanding paper. Oftentimes students miss questions when they try to do that. Use the template. It's the most efficient way to do this and the way you're gonna get the highest score. So for this assignment, you're gonna be inserting your text directly on that template to each one of these four prompts. The first prompt you'll find there asks you to describe how the environmental systems in use in your chosen scenario impact human behavior. So you'll enter your text right below that. Next, you're gonna describe the impact of the current resource use on the environment. Third, you're gonna describe how human ideology impacts behavior regarding the environmental systems. And then finally, on the fourth uh, prompt, you're gonna explain the role of cultural bias in your chosen group's approach to global sustainability. 
Okay, as I was reading through those, thinking about them, I'm seeing just a ton of connections between what we've learned in the first three modules of this course. So as you're going through and writing your responses to those prompts, please make sure that you're considering how you can really infuse what you've learned into each one of the prompts. Okay, so one other quick final note here, you really aren't required to provide sources. However, it's good practice to get into. So if you do cite your sources, please make sure that you're using APA formatting. And of course you can find information about APA formatting on the Shapiro Library page. All right. Finally, let's take a minute here to talk about the uh, grading rubric for this specific project. I want you to read through it now or listen to this uh, example that I give you now of it, and then make sure you come back and look it over before you submit your draft. That way you can catch any little things that you miss now. So let's go through it row by row. Oh, the first row here is talking about sustainable practices, talking about environmental systems. Did you provide examples of how ecosystems, cultural systems, and the organizations tie into the scenario you chose in a way that helps the reader understand the environmental system's impact on human behavior? Okay. The second row asks about how the current resource impacts the environment. How did you tie in examples of the impact the resource use has on the environment? So go back and look at the connections you made there. Okay, next, you're asked to discuss how human ideology impacts behaviors about the environmental systems in place in the scenario. In other words, what specific examples did you write about that tie into the impact human ideology has on behaviors? Okay, next to the last row, that fourth row asks you to write about the role of cultural bias in the scenario you chose. Specifically, how does cultural bias impact the group sustainable global environmental use? And then finally, the last row there talks about clear communication. Did you present your ideas in an organized manner using the template? And is your draft easy for the reader to understand? Did you make sure that you spell checked and uh, did those things prior to submitting it. Again, I really encourage you to read through the rubric before you start writing, again, before you submit that draft. And you know, also remember, you've got a fantastic academic support center. They're really here to help you. There are lots of ways that they can help you with this draft and give you suggestions on it before you submit it to me for grading. All right. So, uh, that's kind of a wrap up on what we're going to do here with this draft one of two drafts for your course project. Uh, it's a big assignment. Please take some time. Choose your scenario carefully. If you have questions, reach out to me. I'm happy to help with them. Good luck on that assignment. Looking forward to reading what you have. Thank you so much.